Like I'm not even playing. That is astounding. Hello friends, welcome back to my Kitchioni. First things first, tie up your hair and get ready for a wild Hunger Games ride because this is my Hunger Games cook-off challenge with Sea Harvest. And um, you're about to watch the winning recipe, my friends. Close your eyes for a minute and picture this. We're gonna have a nice rice bottom, a little bit crispy, kind of a sushi rice texture on top. We have a beautifully baked piece of hake. This hake has been curried, it's got garlic, it's got butter, and we just pop them on top of the rice. On top of that, we have the sour fig and sweet corn chutney cross jam. Let's go with chutney. So you have the sweet, you have the sour, just to carry that fish and that rice through. I know you're sold, because I'm sold. First up, we're gonna make our sour fig and sweet corn jam cross chutney. Yeah, the sour fig was the most mysterious ingredient in my mystery box of food ingredients because I didn't even know what a sour fig was, let alone that you eat these dried things. So I think that turning them into a sweet and sour jam chutney is going to be the most delicious way to use them. I'm gonna pop my butter in, my garlic, curry powder, a little bit of xylitol for sweetness, salt, some lemon juice, and mix that all together before brushing it onto my fish. Give these a quick blitz blitz with the stick blender. <laughs> Those figs are sour and sweet and delicious. Mm. Fish is done. I was gonna put on a breadcrumb. You got? Put on a breadcrumb when you make it. Mmm. 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 Mm. So I am really bad at making rice. Not only have I managed to make this a little bit mushy, but it is still undercooked. Mind-boggling, I know. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt, some xylitol, lemon juice, just to season it up. And then we're going to create our rice patty cake bottom that we're gonna build our curried fish and chutney tower on top of. We're gonna pop them back in the oven. I'm not sure what's gonna happen because I've never done this before, but the idea is that they get a little bit crispy and firmer. While the rice was cooking, I decided to add two other corn elements to the dish just for a bit of pizzazz. That's just some corn and some olive oil for some crispy topping. And that is just some corn blended with some milk to be more of a puree. It's delicious. Let's take out the rice. <gasps> Got it beautifully, slightly golden. I'm gonna be plating up now. Gonna gather all my elements, pop them on here. Time to taste test the most important point. I feel like we've nailed the creaminess from the sweet corn puree underneath. This rice is actually gone crispy on the edges, which is amazing. We have the softness of the fish, some crunch from cabbage, tang, and oh, this chutney I really, really love. Mmm, the flavors. I'm not. Like, I'm not even playing. That is astounding. 
That's absolutely astounding. Who made that? Well, 